everybody, what's happening? We're Seven Gamer back again with a brand new awakening, guys. As you can tell, the brand new hero, Angela, is about to be awakened, guys. I can't stress enough how excited I am about this, guys. Oh my god. And if you're super excited too to see this transformation, because this card, particularly, I really don't like that much, to be honest with you. I think it's okay, but it's nothing great. I can't wait to see this girl transformed and see what the new card is all about. Uh, I'm loving this girl. I'm loving her so much. I ended up getting her to five freaking stars. I couldn't resist. I feel like she's gonna be pretty good, guys. Uh, I maxed out her abilities. As you can see, they're all done. Enchanted everything right now. So we're pretty much on to the awakening, guys. So let's start this awakening and let's see what she's gonna transform into. Uh, because of the event, I already got the item. It's already done there. So we're going on to part number two. All right, and for part number two, we have to do the title temple. It seems like all heroes have to do title temple nowadays. I don't know why it's like that. It's just like that. So let's go ahead. Let's do the title temple. And, uh, God damn it, what are we going to use? Yo, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, you and, um, I you. All right, let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's auto fight this. Ooh, ooh. Um, a couple of things about her that I know there was a glitch about her, guys. So if you had her and you were wondering uh, why she wasn't as good, I think there was a glitch that was affecting her energy for a little bit, and uh, they did fix that, I think. But here we go. We're about to see this ultimate go off right now. We might not even see it because Alicia is so strong; she might just kill everybody right here. Yep. Oh, no, they're alive still. Here we go. Check out the ultimate. Boom. Paint attack. <laughs> All right, you can't really even see it, but uh, her ultimate is pretty dope. Let's see some details. Five damage. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. So her damage output has not been great, guys. That's the one thing that I saw it. So if you are planning to get her for her damage, it doesn't seem like she's doing a lot of damage. Very strangely, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, her damage is not that great. So let's go back. Let's complete. And let's hover here without anybody dying. Oh no, I need some stamina. I, I guess I will use sort of the same thing. Eh, why not? Just go you and you. Let's just get it over with. Oh crap. I should have... I'm up for any challenge. I should have went with some magic here, right? Oh my god. This always happens. Now, she is a magic dealing hero, so let's see <laughs> if her attacks... So, her attacks are all not good here. But her ultimate might do something. Nope. Nothing. I'm standing... Her, she's a magic dealer, guys. She's a dual magic and physical hitter. If you didn't already know, she deals physical magic and dam uh, physical and magic damage. So, I'm kind of just waiting... Oh, there we go. I knew I was going to get through it. Took a little bit longer, but whatever. It's all good. Now we can go here. This one is going to be... There's no stopping me. This one is going to be immune to magic, so it's all good here. Go! Oh, and I put a pet on her, guys. I forgot to mention that. I put a pet, which I just hatched. Um, What's his name? Wallace. I'm tougher than I look. So, I actually just hatched Wallace this week, and I was crazy lucky. I got two Wallaces. Um, but... Angel power. All right. Here we go! God damn it, I'm all speechless now. And we got ourselves an eyeball. Optus. Ooh. Let's see the damage here. So damn, she's still. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Finished off! Let's see! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! Alright, so this is a lot better, boys. Wow! This is sick! I like this one a lot better for sure. Now she's actually an angel. She's got the wings, she's got the uh, halo at the top, <laughs> and her mighty pen actually looks like a really cool sword now. This is awesome. I love this look. Ooh, yes. And the card, yes! All right, this is amazing. This card is a lot better. Angela, Angel of Ink. Now she actually looks like an angel, boys. An angel sent from the heavens up above. Woohoo! All right, let's go ahead. Uh transformation yes yes all right beautiful wow yo look at this 
excellent. I love it right now. So first things first, let us break down her awakened ability here, which is called Burden. The less HP Angela has, the faster uh, her cast speed becomes. Oh, that's sick. When she dies, enemy who killed her will get uh, slower until finally be turned into stone. All right, that I remember. So whoever kills her is slowly is going to be slowed down, right? And then turned into a stone. That's one of its effects. Also, the lower her health, the faster uh, she will cast her, her abilities. That's actually pretty good. Really, really good here. So let's go ahead. I don't have that many. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to go all the way, but... Uh, let's go up to here. That should be okay for now. So this one says increased cast speed by 48%. That's a lot. You know what? How much more is it? 20? Screw it. I'm going all the way. Well, I can't go all the way. Oh, no! Look at that. I'm out of gold. Getting... All right, so back to what I was saying before. I got Wallace. I hatched Wallace uh, this week, guys. I know I haven't been around this week. I've been so busy, but yeah. Got me and myself a Wallace. I'm pretty happy. So let's take a look at how, why I put Wallace on her at this point. So, increased dodge rating and increased attack speed by 24%. So, with the speed of Wallace, this is 50 seconds after her master enters the battlefield. Uh, by then, her health, I mean, her health is actually going to be pretty low. Um, so I figured with the speed boost of Wallace and her, you know, her speed boost, <laughs> she will be moving crazy fast. When his master uses his or her ultimate, Wallace attacks enemy dealing damage and disarming them. So this one I can use as the stun, you know, whoever is around her, maybe they can stun him. So yeah, that's kind of why I put Wallace on her, mainly because of that. That was the main priority for the speed. Now we have a dual 51% here. And then another 20 something percent from Wallace, so it's going to be pretty quick when she goes to cast her abilities. Now, I've saved up some ruins for her as well, so we have a max health ruin. Let's put that on her, give her some extra health. I have a magic attack ruin here, and we have a energy bonus ruin. Okay, so this is actually pretty good, energy bonus. Boom. Now, she gets a little bit, I think it's like 10%. Yeah, it's 10% bonus to energy, I think, every time she kills an enemy. I'm pretty sure energy bonus works like that when you kill your opponent or something like that. It's either that one or efficiency, but I'm pretty sure she gets a little bit of bonus. Either way, it's for our energy. She is the queen of energy, if you guys don't already know. Uh, backline DPS hero. I really wouldn't call her a DPS hero, guys. I don't depend on her dealing much damage. Uh, excels at weakening enemies and controlling the flow of energy. So yeah, she's mostly... She would be great for a team to control your, your opponent's energy. There's a lot of heroes like that. Rook uh, does that. Mariel, Tanya, just a few that come, you know, top of my head. These are some of her stats, guys, at this point right now. I still got to do some more things, obviously, to hook her up a little bit more. But this is what I'm working on right now. So, uh, loving the card. Ruins are good. Abilities, uh, obviously, you need more gold. And then we have Wallace on her right now. Maybe... If Wallace doesn't work out, I still got Mika, I still got some other things I can put on her, but I'm going to try her out with Wallace right now. So, on to the next part. Alright, so normally this is the part where I hook her up here for a little bit, you know, give her some added bonus to her item. But the problem is, guys, I can't do that because I'm out of gold, as you guys already saw. So, we're going to skip this part right now. We're going to actually get right into the battle. Alright, guys, so here we are in a battle here. This is for number two in Epic Arena, so this is my first team. Let's see how this team is going to handle itself here, because we do, we are facing a Volko and Batman in the back. So, they did take out some good damage from her now, but this is kind of what you want from her, because less health, the faster she can cast her uh, abilities. There she goes into ultimate, guys. As you can see, everybody is gray, because they cannot use their ultimates now. Uh, what I would recommend for her, oh, here we go. What I rec rec recommend from her, guys, is putting heroes that don't necessarily depend on their ultimate, which I probably could have done a lot better with. But that is definitely what I recommend. Heroes that don't really depend on their ultimates, and even at this point right now, we're looking pretty good because we are taking out everybody, and uh, we still can't ultimate here. Nobody can ultimate. She's the only one, and we got the win! <laughs> yeah, so... That's just a battle for you guys, so you can kind of tell. Uh, her damage is very, is looking really, really good right there. But Batman did good as always. So did um, Alicia. She killed it. Now, let's just break it down a little bit here. Damage received. 
Batman took out. She got second most healing, so she does some healing and kills. It was all right. So there's the battle for you guys, so you can take a look. She's very cool. She really controls the battle, guys. As you can already see, she stops everybody. Controls the battle pretty well, but I recommend you use her on a team where they don't require their ultimates to be super powerful. Um, in this situation, wasn't the best. I still got the win, but Alicia, if she doesn't get her ultimate, she's okay. She will freeze still. Is alright. Not the best damage. Uh, Mechanel was useless, as you can see. If Mechanel doesn't use her ultimate, uh, she's. Def I mean, he's definitely not as good, but. Uh, that's just a little bit of a tip for you guys. Alright guys, so that will pretty much wrap up Angela's Awakening for you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know. I love this transformation, man. I really do. I really didn't like this previous card here. Uh, as you can see, you know, she had the wings. She had it all, but nah, it doesn't look as good. This one looks dope. Much darker. Just looks really, really cool. I love this transformation. And I think she's actually really good. I love her. Um, mainly seems to be an arena hero. Doesn't seem... To do much damage anywhere else obviously I don't think you can use her for anywhere else but seems to be a really cool arena hero and obviously like always I'm gonna keep fighting with her in the arena all around checking her out seeing how she does but overall I really feel she's gonna be good guys I love this awakening ability I think this really makes her without before this I wasn't too impressed to be honest I thought she was alright but she was kind of dying a little bit soon not really doing much but now that she can actually cast her abilities a little bit quicker it does make a difference it makes a huge difference and um maybe with wallace you know that helped out a little bit more but now i think she's awesome i love her and i still got a good amount of gems here so maybe i should go to six stars but i doubt it i really don't think i want to do that time to save for the next one but anyways guys that'll be it for today i will check you guys out on the weekend for the you know normal streaming till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night peace out everybody